14 day camping limit and you have to be gone for at least seven days.
Now, if I leave and find a nice, peaceful place that's better than where I was at, yeah, I'll stay there. Now, if I find a spot that's a lot nicer than where I'm at, I'll stay there. I won't go back to Mozzie. How would he know if he got smart, if he's medicated? That's my opinion. What's he gonna do? Shoot me? Yeah, okay. opinion.
about you all the time. People get over on you all the time. People can play you all the time. You're Devils. not medicated. They can't do it. And that's why they're mad. Listen on. on YouTube.
Now, there was two of them there. That's why Ty Jones was nice. But if you're alone, you better push record. This is about Todd Jones lying. This isn't about these other people. These other people are helping you learn the truth about Todd Jones.
to be. Again. I'm a woman in a wheelchair. And I don't take no shit if I don't have to. And Todd Jones likes to dish it out. I hope he can take it. Well, they also won't take me because I don't do medical. Boys stick together and they're vindictive. When I stick together and they're vindictive. When I go to certain places, certain towns and little cities won't donate to me. Because they've been told not to. Because they're bullies. Every now and then an angel shows up and helps me out. Or a hero. God bless him. For that. But God's going to get the other ones. Bullies stick together. When you expose one, it affects them all. <laughs> They haven't had trouble with him because they haven't rocked the boat. I wasn't rocking the boat. He come up started on me in 2017. He was a bully when he came up to me the first time in March of 2017. If you see the other video, I can see them in their see it in their face. You could too if you weren't medicated.
I do this, Game Warden, when you say it. That's what he said. Thank <laughs> Well, if they don't want nobody living out here, why do they live out here? They let the men stay out here two months, six months, eight months. Now, technically, I'm not camping. I am in a truck sitting, parking. People park out there all the time. Now, I have met some really good cops, but this man isn't one of those. Now, you've seen the rules. You believe what you want to believe, but you better get off medications and stop being bullied. So, you take your chances if you come down to Mosey Lake in Union County, Kentucky. As long as Todd Jones, the federal game warden, is in control. Now, he is in control, so why do they have this divine guy? Why is he on payroll if Todd Jones runs the things? That's just a waste of state money, isn't it? Do they just create jobs for the government just to suck up your taxpayer money? Who's in charge, Divine or Jones? Lake. That's not good for the economy for this bully, my opinion. 
to be doing this to people. A family reunion is going to rent out the whole lake? Okay. I've never heard of such a thing. Four or five campsites, maybe, but the whole lake? Well, if you come down nice, and I don't care if you, read, if you videos me or audios me, and explain to me nicely how he did to them, and didn't lie to me about the time period I had to be gone, this wouldn't be on YouTube. But how most of the people around here say about him, he's a sick. So, for those of you that are Todd Jones' friends, oh, he's such a good guy. Well, I'm sure he is if you got money. I'm sure he is if you got something he wants. Your soul? Todd Jones is a bully. That's my expert bully opinion. Nothing personal. Again. Three strikes and you're out. Todd Jones, you're a bully. You're full-blooded. Yeah, your eyes are still blue, but I'm sure they're turning black soon. Hell's waiting for you. I'm sure. If a wicked man turns from his wickedness and becomes righteous, his wickedness will be forgotten. But when a righteous man turns to wickedness, his righteousness will be forgotten. Ezekiel. Now, you get to hear from Todd Jones' friends. Friend that has been harassing me. Listen close. Now, this is what Todd Jones' friend has to say about him. This is a claimed friend of Todd Jones. This is our first encounter. They really do stick together. They're best friends. They're buds. They think alike. They act alike. Bullies. They really do. Bullies. They act alike. They act alike. They really do. Now, I'm sitting in an undisclosed location in a small town. On February the 13th at 1.29 p.m. I've sat there before with my little sign in my window. Just remember, I'm an old lady. I'm handicapped. I'm homeless. I have no income. I'm alone. Okay? Remember that. Now, a man comes up and he says, Hi, can I help you? Instead of saying, Hey, this is my property. I want you off my property. He pretends that he's there to help, but he tells me, well, in so many words, he's a friend of Todd Jones. Now, if you've done all of the Todd Jones videos on Halo 7 Angel, YouTube, he was pretending like he was helping me, but he was really trying to talk me into going to Louisville to a place called Missions. Where there are drug addicts and alcoholics and wings or wards or whatever, which I broke it down to be a hospital. Now I can put those. And then he lied and said he was going to bring me some food. He was going to take care of me, and didn't see him after that. I waited three or four weeks before I done the videos on him. He brought me some groceries one day. He kept coming by, and he said. He's not harassing me. And if I tell him to leave, he'll keep coming back. He brought me mostly water and spicy foods that I couldn't eat. The raccoons got to eat that. Then he said, I'll take care of you. Three weeks later, never saw him. He didn't know if I had any food or not. He's a liar. Can't trust a liar. Devils are a lie. That is harassment. I can put those videos back up. The videos about Todd Jones and myself, true plus my opinion. 
it's not stalking. It's not bullying, cyberbullying. It's my encounters with Todd Jones. It's not slander. It's not libel. It's what occurred. Tried to play me. He even said he was going to take care of me. And I never saw him again after that. And I waited for three or four weeks to see if he was going to bring me any food or anything. Now, he had been showing up about every day or once a week. He shows up over here at Mosey once a week. Sometimes twice a week. Now, how does he make his rounds to Hopkins County, Webster County, and Union County, and manage to have time to bother me? How does he do his job? So he likes to keep tabs on me. He's a bully. He's a full-blooded bully.
relevance. Now, if he goes to that church, Mr. Mindy goes to that church, if Todd Jones goes to that church, I darn sure wouldn't go to that church. Because evidently, well, the sheep is known by its shepherd. Now, that's twice he's trying to convince me that Todd Jones is a good guy. Well, I'm here. I'm going to show you. I'm going to let you hear. Now, you heard from other campers. This is Mozzie Lake. Locals. Ty Jones is not a good guy. He's an ass. I said, what, what was it? Uh, asshole? Smart ass. A smart ass? A dick? Can you just imagine what everybody else is saying? So, no, he's not a good guy unless you're medicated plum stupid. These are local campers at Union County being lied to by Todd Jones. Now, if the employees at Mossy Lake doesn't know the rules, that should scare you. They're posted right out front of their building. I'm not giving you a hard time. I'm just telling you some truth. The rules should apply to everybody. And if you don't like this video, you can thank Todd Jones for it. Leave me alone. I'm going to take up space somewhere. You can sit there two weeks and you have to leave at least seven days. So it will be fair to everyone. Now, who's in control of Mossy Lake? Todd Jones? Union County? Higginson Henry? Well, I think it's a playground for Todd Jones to harass people. That's my opinion. God's going to get you, Todd Jones. You know it, don't you? Doesn't matter what you say or do to me. God's going to get you. Because you're a bad man. you a bully. That's my expert bully opinion. Oh, I forgive you. But I'm going to give you some good advice. Stay away from me. God's going to get you. On Judgment Day, Todd Jones, on your Judgment Day, I want you to remember me. And remember everything you said.